In this video, I will model this Burj Al Arab in Dubai. Okay, before we go straight to the tutorial, I would like to ask to everyone that uh, please view every part of this video and don't forget to like, share, or, or subscribe. Okay, so in this project, I use the architectural templates. Okay, so here I am again. So first thing I will do is to command units okay and i set this project into meters okay and command rp for the shortcut okay reference line one and this is two okay so once you have this okay another reference line here like that okay and reference line again two okay and i just simply draw at 60 degrees like this and i just rename it this into three okay so once you have this okay go to east okay go to east and set the four meters okay and i just simply drag it little bit here like that okay so now pick this okay and create similar and pick it set into four meters and count it up to only 32 okay so nine then maybe go to massing inside or model in place okay choose the mass okay and line reference three okay and draw a line here up to the top Oop. okay and I just simply draw a arc like this okay so once you have this okay go to pick and set this into five for this side and a three in this side okay and now i just draw a line here line and set this into okay now it's going to zero okay and go to 3d okay to close this one like this okay and tr for the trim and trim k okay. like this okay and minimize the ceiling and go to is again okay and draw a line here okay and go to pick and two meters okay so once you have this okay use the control shift okay okay so this is the one already and go to 3d okay and 
SL for the shortcut to break the line like this. Okay. And TR again for the shortcut. Okay, so once you have this, okay, let's counter check to the side, okay, so you, if you get the angle that one, okay, go to 3D again and solid form, okay, and drag it this, if wrong direction and make three for that one okay so counter check into the real estate oh it's okay so pick this okay create from solid form and drag it like this and set this into three also So once you have this, okay, window it all like this, okay, and go to side, okay, and command MB for the move, okay, and move it there, and directly command MM, okay, to mirror it in the other side like this, okay, so now draw arc here, Okay. Like this. Okay, and go to 3D. Okay. Hit the tab, select this one and go here into properties and change this all into void. Now let's counter check. So now this is the structure already and now okay go back to wireframe and choose the pick okay to close this okay make sure that you're in level one okay so pick this and this one okay and create form solid form and drag it all the way like this okay so now once you have this okay hit finish okay so this is already our design or structure for that one okay so we need to memorize first this level okay so command rp for the shortcut okay so i make this here reference line and rename it to a okay and here is B. Okay, B. Okay, and in the last one is the C. Okay, so let's counter check all. Okay. So you need to memorize this B. So the B is in the 15, OK? 
Okay, so this is the one. And 15 and 23. Okay. So once you have this, okay, go to site. So I just start here in the A. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to go to architecture again. Okay, model in place. Again, mass 2. Okay, so once you have this, okay, go to line. And draw. Line like this. Okay. Make sure that you're in level 1, okay? And just command mm to mirror it in the... Pick this, okay? And mm to mirror in the other side. And use the pick line, okay? To pick this. And tr for the shortcut to close this one. Okay. So once you have this, okay? Use the peak again, okay, and set it into 10 meters. Oh, 10. Or let's say 8. Okay, and use the delay arc here. like this okay so now you need to close this one okay and tr for the shortcut again okay line tr okay and of course make all arc like this Okay, so once you have this, okay, go to is to check this one. Okay, so 15. So now go to 3D, okay, and use the pick line, okay, and set it into 15. And pick all this like this. Okay, and pick this level one because we need to close this also here and here. Okay, so TR. one and of course we need to set again to 15 to pick this okay so once you have this okay go to 15 Okay, 15, level 15. Okay. And make a line here and use the TR for the shortcut to close this. Okay, and pick this. Okay, DM for the draw mirror axis to mirror it in the other side and TR again to Close this and go to arc and make an arc like this. Okay. And TR for the shortcut to close this to here. Okay. So if we go to 3D, this is what he look already 
Ok. So this is not uh, totally closed, but it's okay. So now we go to is. Counter check again, where is the A is in the 23. Okay. So go to 3D and use the pick again. Okay. And use the 23 like this. Okay. And now pick this like this. Here, like this, and go to 3D. Okay. And pick this. Okay. So if we go to 3D, realistic, we got this already so now what i'm going to do is to hit finish okay and now go to mass floor up to 24 only so we need to Okay, and mass floor, oops, massing inside, floor, okay, window it all and create floor. Okay, so now we already finished the, this, uh, Burj Al Arab, okay, the simple one, okay, so this is the one already, okay, so I cannot add the other one, the helicopter pad and the another extension here, okay, so because we don't have a time, but So this is the most important one, how to make or how to model the Burj Al Arab in Revit. So thank you to all of you. Please don't forget to like, share or subscribe. So it's helped me out a lot. Especially everyone updated once I make a video tutorial like this.